We always thought we were alone. Us humans, kings of our own little blue marble, looking up at the stars and wondering, is there anyone else out there? We sent out signals, listened for whispers, and dreamed of meeting beings from another world. Little did we know, they'd already been here. Millennia ago, long before the first human grunted and crawled out of the primordial ooze, Earth was theirs. The Venusians, as we'd come to call them, with their shimmering silver skin and eyes that held the wisdom of a thousand galaxies. They'd mastered technologies we could only dream of, harnessing the power of stars, bending space and time, creating life itself. Their civilization was a wonder, a utopia of art, science, and philosophy. They built gleaming cities that touched the clouds, sprawling gardens where every plant bloomed with otherworldly beauty, and academies where knowledge flowed like a never-ending river. I'd spent my whole life studying them, poring over ancient texts, deciphering cryptic inscriptions, piecing together fragments of their lost history. I was an archaeologist, a historian, an obsessive Venusian enthusiast. Some called me a lunatic, a conspiracy theorist, but I knew the truth was out there, waiting to be discovered. My latest expedition had taken me to the ruins of an ancient Venusian city, nestled deep in the heart of the Amazon rainforest. It was a sprawling complex of towering pyramids, intricately carved temples, and sprawling plazas, all overgrown with lush vegetation and shrouded in mist. I'd been exploring the ruins for weeks, accompanied by a team of fellow researchers and a handful of local guides. We'd uncovered countless artifacts, tools made of strange, shimmering metals, fragments of artwork depicting fantastical creatures, and cryptic texts filled with symbols and equations we couldn't decipher. One day, as I was excavating a particularly promising site, a subterranean chamber filled with strange machinery and glowing orbs, I stumbled upon something that changed everything. It was a small, silver disc, about the size of my palm, with intricate markings and a pulsating light at its center. I picked it up, my heart pounding with excitement. I knew instantly that this was no ordinary artifact. It was a piece of Venusian technology, a key to unlocking their secrets. I brought it back to our makeshift camp and spent hours examining it, trying to figure out how it worked. My colleagues were skeptical, but I was determined to unlock its secrets. After days of tireless work, I finally managed to activate the disc. It hummed to life, its light pulsing with renewed intensity, and projected a holographic image into the air. The image was a recording, a message from the Venusians themselves. It showed a group of them standing on a vast plain, surrounded by towering pyramids and gleaming cities. They were dressed in flowing robes, their faces etched with sorrow and regret. One of them stepped forward and began to speak. His voice was deep and resonant, filled with wisdom and sadness. We are the Venusians, once the proud inhabitants of this planet, he said. We came here millennia ago, seeking a new home, a place to build our civilization and explore the mysteries of the universe. We found this planet to be a paradise, a fertile ground for our dreams and aspirations. We built cities, cultivated gardens, and created wonders beyond your wildest imagination. But we also made a grave mistake. We underestimated the destructive power of greed and ambition. Our civilization grew too quickly, too recklessly. We consumed resources without thought, polluted the environment, and waged wars for power and territory. We forgot our original purpose, our mission to explore and understand the universe. We became obsessed with our own petty squabbles and forgot the true meaning of life. As a result, we destroyed our own paradise. We poisoned the air, polluted the water, and exhausted the land. Our civilization collapsed, leaving behind nothing but ruins and regret. We learned our lesson too late. We realized that greed and ambition are the enemies of progress, the destroyers of worlds. We left this planet, seeking a new home, a place where we could start anew. We found it, a distant planet with a pristine environment and a peaceful atmosphere. We have rebuilt our civilization, but we have not forgotten our past mistakes. We have learned to value balance, sustainability, and cooperation. We have learned to respect the environment, to cherish life, and to seek knowledge for the betterment of all. We are the Venusians, and we offer you this warning. Do not repeat our mistakes. Do not let greed and ambition destroy your world. Cherish your planet, for it is a precious gift. Seek knowledge, but do not forget wisdom. Strive for progress, but do not forget balance. Live in harmony with nature, for it is your true home. Remember, you are not alone in the universe. We are watching you, and we are hoping for the best. The recording ended, leaving me speechless. I stared at the holographic image, my mind reeling with the implications of what I had just seen. The Venusians were real. They had lived on Earth, 
built a civilization, and destroyed it. They had left behind a warning, a plea for us to learn from their mistakes. I knew that this discovery would change everything. It would rewrite history, challenge our beliefs, and force us to confront our own destructive tendencies. News of the discovery spread like wildfire. The scientific community was abuzz with excitement, while governments and religious institutions scrambled to contain the information. I became an overnight celebrity, hounded by the media, sought after by politicians and billionaires. I decided to go public with my findings, despite the risks. I held a press conference, where I presented the holographic recording and explained its significance. The world watched in awe and disbelief as the Venusian's message echoed across the globe. The reaction was swift and varied. Some people embraced the revelation, seeing it as a wake-up call, a chance to change our ways and avert disaster. Others rejected it outright, dismissing it as a hoax, a fabrication, a conspiracy. I received death threats, hate mail, and accusations of heresy. But I also received messages of support, gratitude, and hope. People from all walks of life reached out to me, sharing their own stories of environmental activism, sustainable living, and spiritual awakening. I realized that the Venusian's message had struck a chord, resonating with something deep within the human psyche. It had awakened a dormant longing for connection, for purpose, for a better future. The discovery of the Venusian message triggered a global debate about our place in the universe, our relationship with nature, and our responsibility to future generations. Governments convened emergency summits, religious leaders issued statements, and scientists launched new research initiatives. I became involved in a whirlwind of activity, traveling the world, speaking at conferences, meeting with world leaders, and collaborating with scientists and activists. I helped establish a Venusian Studies Institute, dedicated to researching and preserving the Venusian legacy. The more I learned about the Venusians, the more I admired their wisdom, their compassion, and their technological prowess. I marveled at their ability to harness the power of nature, to create beauty and harmony, and to live in balance with their environment. I also realized that they were not perfect. They had made mistakes, succumbed to temptation, and suffered the consequences. But they had learned from their mistakes, evolved, and found a new path. I believe that we could do the same. We could learn from the Venusians' example, embrace their wisdom, and forge a new future for ourselves and our planet. But time was running out. The Earth was already showing signs of strain, from climate change and pollution to resource depletion and social unrest. We had to act quickly, decisively, and collectively. I knew that the Venusians were watching us, hoping for the best. I hoped that we wouldn't disappoint them. I dedicated my life to spreading their message, to inspiring change, and to building a better future for all. I traveled to the farthest corners of the globe, spoke to people of all cultures and backgrounds, and shared the Venusians' wisdom with anyone who would listen. I saw firsthand the power of their message to transform lives, to ignite hope, and to inspire action. I met people who had dedicated their lives to environmental activism, sustainable living, and social justice. I saw communities coming together to create eco-villages, transition towns, and permaculture farms. I witnessed a global awakening, a shift in consciousness towards a more sustainable, equitable, and harmonious way of life. I saw people rediscovering their connection to nature, embracing their creativity, and cultivating compassion for all living beings. The Venusian message had sparked a revolution, a quiet revolution of the heart and mind. It had given us a glimpse of a better future, a future where we lived in harmony with nature, respected diversity, and pursued knowledge for the betterment of all. I knew that the road ahead would be long and challenging. There would be setbacks, obstacles, and resistance from those who clung to the old ways. But I also knew that we had the power to change, to evolve, and to create a new world. I believe that the Venusians were watching us, cheering us on, and hoping that we would succeed. I hoped that we wouldn't let them down. The Venusian legacy was a gift, a treasure trove of wisdom and knowledge. It was a reminder that we are not alone in the universe, that we are part of a larger cosmic story, and that we have a responsibility to care for our planet and each other. I knew that the Venusian message would continue to inspire and guide us for generations to come. It was a message of hope, a message of resilience, and a message of love. It was a message that could change the world. With Lyra as our guide, we embarked on a journey of unprecedented discovery and collaboration. We established diplomatic relations with other advanced civilizations, sharing our knowledge and resources to tackle universal challenges like climate change, resource scarcity, and social inequality. Under Lyra's tutelage, we learned the true potential of Venusian technology. We developed clean energy sources that harnessed the power of the sun, wind, and water. 
We created advanced medical technologies that could heal diseases and extend lifespans. We built sustainable cities that integrated seamlessly with nature, providing a harmonious environment for all living beings. We also delved deeper into the mysteries of the universe, exploring distant galaxies and uncovering new forms of life. We learned about the interconnectedness of all things, the delicate balance of ecosystems, and the importance of preserving biodiversity. Through it all, Lyra remained our steadfast companion and mentor, guiding us with her wisdom and compassion. She taught us to respect all forms of life, to value diversity, and to embrace our shared humanity. But not everyone welcomed our newfound knowledge and progress. There were those who feared change, who clung to old ways of thinking and resisted the Venusian influence. They formed secret societies, spread disinformation, and even resorted to violence in their attempts to thwart our efforts. We faced challenges and setbacks, but we persevered, united by our shared vision of a better future. We exposed the lies and manipulations of the dissenters, and we rallied the majority of humanity behind our cause. In the end, it was a collective effort, a testament to the power of human ingenuity, collaboration, and resilience. We overcame our differences, embraced our shared humanity, and forged a new path towards a brighter future. The Venusian legacy had not only saved us from our self-destructive path but had also propelled us towards a new era of enlightenment and progress. We had become a beacon of hope in the galaxy, an example of what could be achieved when we worked together towards a common goal. And as we gazed up at the stars, we knew that we were not alone. The Venusians were watching over us, proud of our achievements and hopeful for our continued success. We had honored their legacy, and we had become worthy heirs to their wisdom and knowledge. But our journey was far from over. There were still many challenges ahead, many mysteries to unravel, and many possibilities to explore. We knew that the Venusian legacy would continue to guide us, inspire us, and challenge us to reach new heights. And so, we continued our journey, united in our purpose and fueled by our shared dreams. We were the inheritors of a great legacy, and we were determined to create a future that would make the Venusians proud. Years turned into decades. Earth thrived, transformed by the Venusian legacy. Our planet healed, cities bloomed into green havens, and society flourished under a renewed sense of purpose and unity. But even as we celebrated our triumphs, a new challenge emerged, a challenge that would test the very foundation of our newfound wisdom. A distress signal, faint and garbled, reached us from the depths of space. It was Venusian in origin, but not from Lyra's people. This signal pulsed with urgency and desperation, a cry for help from a lost colony, a group of Venusians who had ventured beyond their home planet centuries ago and had never returned. Lyra was shaken by this revelation. She had believed her people to be safe and prosperous, but this signal hinted at a forgotten chapter of their history, a chapter filled with danger and uncertainty. We knew we couldn't ignore this plea. We owed it to the Venusians, our mentors and allies, to answer their call. With Lyra's guidance, we assembled a team of our finest scientists, engineers, and explorers, and embarked on a perilous journey into the unknown. The signal led us to a desolate planet, ravaged by war and environmental catastrophe. The once vibrant Venusian colony was now a ghost town, its buildings crumbling, its fields barren, and its people nowhere to be found. But we didn't give up hope. We searched tirelessly, following faint trails and deciphering cryptic clues left behind by the colonists. We uncovered evidence of a devastating conflict, a battle between factions vying for control of the colony's resources. As we delved deeper into the mystery, we encountered hostile forces, remnants of the warring factions who had turned to piracy and savagery. We fought for survival, using our Venusian-enhanced technology and our newfound resilience. In the heart of the ravaged colony, we discovered a hidden underground bunker, a last refuge for the remaining survivors. They were a small group, battered but unbroken, clinging to hope in the face of despair. We learned their story, a tale of ambition, betrayal, and ultimately, redemption. The colony had fallen victim to internal strife, fueled by greed and the desire for power. But in their darkest hour, they had rediscovered their Venusian values, their commitment to unity and cooperation. With our help, they began to rebuild their shattered community, drawing on the Venusian legacy of resilience and ingenuity. We shared our knowledge and resources, helping them to heal their planet and restore their society. In this act of solidarity, we not only saved a lost colony but also strengthened our own resolve. We saw firsthand the devastating consequences of unchecked greed and ambition, and we vowed to never repeat those mistakes. The rescue mission was a turning point, a testament to the enduring power of the Venusian legacy. It reminded us of our shared responsibility to care for each other, to protect our planet, and to uphold the values of unity, compassion, and cooperation. 
as we returned home, we carried with us the hope and gratitude of the rescued colonists. We had not only saved them from oblivion but had also forged a new bond of friendship and alliance, a bond that would strengthen our resolve and guide us towards a brighter future. News of our successful mission spread across the galaxy, inspiring hope and admiration. Other civilizations reached out to us, eager to learn from our experiences and join our growing alliance of peace and progress. Earth became a hub of interstellar diplomacy, a beacon of hope in a universe still grappling with conflict and division. But as our influence grew, so did the attention of those who opposed our ideals. A shadow fell over our newfound peace, a lurking threat that whispered of ancient grudges and insatiable hunger for power. From the depths of space, a new signal emerged, not a plea for help this time, but a chilling declaration of war. It was a message from the Krell, a ruthless and technologically advanced race known for their conquest and exploitation of weaker civilizations. They had been watching us, studying our progress, and biding their time. They saw our alliance as a threat to their dominance, a challenge to their supremacy. They demanded our surrender, our technology, and our allegiance. A wave of fear and uncertainty swept across our planet. We had never faced an enemy like the Krell, a race with weapons and tactics far beyond our comprehension. We had come so far, achieved so much, but were we ready for this ultimate test? Lyra, ever the wise counsel, urged us to remain calm and resolute. She reminded us of the Venusian legacy, the lessons of unity, resilience, and the unwavering pursuit of knowledge. She assured us that we were not alone, that our allies stood with us, and that together, we could overcome any obstacle. We convened a council of our allies, sharing intelligence and strategizing our defense. We reached out to other civilizations, seeking their support and expertise. We knew that the Krell were formidable, but we also knew that we were not defenseless. With a renewed sense of purpose, we mobilized our forces, combining our technological prowess with the wisdom of the Venusians and the courage of our allies. We developed new weapons and defenses, drawing on the knowledge we had gained from our interstellar travels. We prepared for the inevitable confrontation, knowing that the fate of Earth and the future of our alliance hung in the balance. The Krell were on their way, their armada of warships hurtling through space, their intent clear and their power undeniable. As the Krell armada approached our solar system, a sense of dread and anticipation filled the air. We watched as their massive ships eclipsed the stars, their ominous shadows casting a pall over our planet. The final showdown was imminent, a battle that would determine the fate of Earth and the future of our civilization. Would we rise to the challenge, armed with the Venusian legacy and the strength of our allies? Or would we crumble under the weight of the Krell's aggression? The answer remained shrouded in uncertainty, a cliffhanger that left us breathless and filled with trepidation.